The blood is literally on Jacob, and um, he is being judged by smell. Isaac judged him by smell. It's a picture. But what's even more significant here is that Jacob was wearing the clothes that made him appear to be his older brother, Esau. They had to kill two goats, two kid goats, in order for the stew to be made and for the garments to be made for him to make him feel hairy. Think about Yeshua, the sacrifice, and we wear his blood, or we bear the blood of the Mashiach, right? And we um, are dressed in his robe of righteousness. And so then when we approach, the smell that should come from us shouldn't be the stench of uncleanness or unholiness or wickedness. It should be the smell, the fragrant smell of the Messiah.